Hello everyone, this is Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to the Honey Bee Stamps blog and our YouTube channel. Today we're excited to bring you Day One's products of the Sealed with Love release available at honeybeestamps.com on December the 15th. So first up today, I'm sharing one of our classic buzzword sets, and this one is called You. Not only do we have our classic scripty buzzword font, but there's also a more basic but bold you there at the bottom that is great for everyday use. So we have lots of mix and match little sentiments to go along with those words like happy birthday to, make me happy, thankful for, are awesome, are the best, a note for, are invited, thinking of, I believe in, and then many, many more. So lots of great mix and match words to mix with both of those larger words. Now, as with all of our buzzword sets, each of those words come with three dies. So there is a scripty die that cuts out that word. There is a basic shadow and then the pierce shadow and then that is the same for that basic but bold U as well. So you can see the pierced shadow there. There's a basic shadow and then the letters that will cut out the word U. This is a beautiful, fun, and bright card from design team member Carol. She's used all three layers of those dies. You can see the pierced layer, the red layer, it's that basic shadow, and then the white U, and paired that with the sub-sentiment are awesome. Now the bright and beautiful paper you'll see coming up in our freebie paper set. Next, I have the newest addition to our Bitty Buzzword collection, and this set is called Be Mine. You can see those great larger words there, you, kisses, always, sweet, adore, heart, and be mine. And then lots of great sub-sentiments and even some sentiments that will be great on the inside of your cards. So we have love you, are loved, you just get me, I'm here for sending you hugs and will you and then some of those inside sentiments like have I mentioned how lucky I am to know you all we have shared means so much to me and so many smiles begin with you now there's also a coordinating die set that goes along with our stamp set and it cuts out all of those scripty words and then a basic shadow for each one here Brenda has done an adorable little card with the Bitty Buzzword set. She's used both uh, the basic shadow and the words for Be Mine and added Will You to finish off the sentiment. The next great sentiment set is called Inside Kindness. And I love all of these kindness sentiments. You can never go wrong with a great kindness sentiment set. So I have I Love Us. Just wanted to stop and say hello, sending paper hugs, every friendship has a story, I like ours the best, throw kindness around like confetti, life is tough but so are you, we rise by lifting others, you're the reason I smiled today, I love that one. Kind people are my kind of people, your friendship means the world to me and many more. Now there's a coordinating die set that goes along with the Inside Kindness stamp set and it cuts out every one of those great sentiments so it makes it so easy to stamp, die cut those, and then add those anywhere on your card projects. Now I love how Becky has created this card. She's paired that inside kindness sentiment, life is tough but so are you, with the you buzzword and done that in a rainbow of colors and this card has just turned out so fun and so beautiful. Next we have love is in the air and I adore birds so this is one of my favorite stamp sets in this release. I love the sweet little bird house and those cute little birds that you can color any color that you would like and all of the florals and greenery and even a little love note that you can tuck into one of their little beaks. There is a little post if you'd like your birdhouse to be on a post. There's also the little mailbox flag, so you could have that as kind of a little mailbox. There's a coordinating die set that's going to cut out all of those images 
and I'm going to create a card with this at the end of this video, so I hope you stick around for that. Next, we have the perfect card base to go along with the Love is in the Air little bird set and those florals. And this is the Birdhouse A2 card base die set. As you can see, there are lots of dies that you can build together, different colored cardstocks, patterned paper, to create the cutest birdhouse card base. There's even a little nest feathers, eggs, and the little door on the front has hinges and so it opens. So take a look at Bobby's birdhouse. She's added her birdhouse to the front of a five by seven card and surrounded it with the florals and stems from the Love is in the Air stamp set. When you open the door you can see some of our new pattern paper along with the little nest and eggs. Next I have our freebie for this release and it is a double sided premium cardstock pack that are cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. There are 12 designs, one of each design in the package. You can see a beautiful floral and then on the other side there's a hand with a little gift tag that says for you. Here's a dark bright floral and then on the other side there's an envelope bursting with flowers that says thank you. I just love all of these beautiful flower patterns. They make beautiful card panels that are easy to create quickly. There's a beautiful floral with another bouquet that says enjoy. Here's some bright, fun, modern flowers with a heart on the other side that says you have my heart. Here is a beautiful, happy floral. That's the one that Carol used in her card on this video with the you buzzword and a little teacup that says thinking of you with some florals on the other side. So grateful for you. I love that little circle there with surrounded by the flowers and happy Valentine's Day. There are some fun and whimsical hearts with a little bear. Consider this a paper hug. He's holding a little heart. There's a navy with hearts and you make today better on the other side done in rainbow colors. There are some little bees and hi honey, and then there's a pink side meant to be. There is a cool geometric that's great for any card. There are some succulents that's kind of like a coloring sheet that you could color in yourself. There is a fun faux metallic. You can see all the texture there. And happy friendship day. Great to give a friend during Valentine's Day. There is the XOXO done in hearts, and then a page of little squares and sentiments that you could cut out and use on any card creation. Now, as with all of our freebies, these are while supplies last with purchases of $75 or more. Now, here's a really cool card from design team member Ilda. She slipped one of those card panels into a clear pocket and created a flat shaker card. She's paired that with our you buzzword and added happy birthday to you. Now she's really taken advantage of these papers being double sided. So when you open that clear card, you can see the other side with the bouquet and enjoy. And then a little love you stamped on the inside. Okay, now it's time to create a card with today's products. As I mentioned before, I'm going to start out with the love is in the air stamp and coordinating die set. I have a, a top folding card that I decided just to slice in half and I'm going to use that to stamp all of these images on. I'm going to carefully arrange as many images as I can in my Misty because I love these little birds and that little birdhouse as I mentioned before. I am a bird lover and so this stamp set was right up my alley. So I'm just taking my time to carefully arrange everything so they're easy to stamp and then again um, easy to die cut once I get everything stamped. I am using our Be Creative Intense Black Ink, which is Copic marker friendly. So I'm just really going over those stamps really well. I'm going to take a dry cloth and give those a little rub down and then open up my Misty. And I decided because those are the, it's the first time I've stamped that, and so they're fresh stamps, I went over that one more time just to make sure that it was nice and crisp and ready to color. 
Now anytime I stamp and then color with Copic markers, I always, always take my heat tool and go over that ink just to make sure that it is nice and dry so I don't have any trouble with my Copic markers bleeding into that ink and kind of spreading that around. So I hit it with my heat tool and those are ready to go. As I mentioned, I sat and listened to a podcast and colored all those cute little images and they're die cut and ready to go in that little dish. But first I wanted kind of a little highlight spot for my card. So I have one of our scalloped and stitched circle dies and I'm using our cloud stencil. It's four sided and I'm just flipping that around with a dirty ink blending brush. I love to use the ink that is already on my brushes from a previous project because um, I don't have to worry about it getting too dark or too juicy in areas and this is perfect for clouds. So I'm just kind of brushing on what is uh, left in excess there on my brush and that color is speckled egg distress oxide ink. So you can see now I have a cute little cloudy background all ready for my little birdhouse and my birds. For my card base, I'm using a Nina Desert Storm card base, top folding, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm using some pattern paper from the older Sweet on You paper pad because I love these colors and they really go well with the shades that I decided to color the florals and my little birds. So I have a kind of striped little spotted design as well as a gingham. So I'm going to slice these down <clears throat> and get those uh, ready to go on the front of my card. And I'm just kind of eyeballing everything to make sure that um, I have enough cardstock, trimming everything down. And then I'm going to have a strip of that little speckled striped pattern and then also a little strip of the gingham toward the bottom. So I'm going to add these right onto my card base with some liquid adhesive. And I did add a strip of navy blue ribbon that you can see there. Now, I thought that I would use that to kind of break up the cardstock design there. I end up trimming that away and getting rid of it in the end. And you'll kind of notice that when you see the final photo, but it's there right now. So <laughs> I trimmed off my circle after I added that on. It's kind of hanging off the right side there. And now I'm going to use one of the inside kindness stamps or sentiments to go on the inside of my card. So I'm going to peel that out, get it set in my Misty, and I'm going to stamp that in Prize Ribbon Distress Oxide Ink because it is going to go perfectly with my sweet little bluebirds on the front of the card. The inside reads, I just wanted, to, wanted you to know what a blessing you are to me. And I thought that was perfect to go along with the sweet little birds and flowers. Again, because that oxide ink stays a little bit juicy, I'm going to take that heat tool and heat it up. That way I don't spread the ink around on my card base. Give it another little push down with my bone folder. And now my front panel is all ready to go on. I'm going to use our Be Creative liquid glue to get that put on. And that gives me just a little bit of time to kind of wiggle it around and make sure it's exactly where I want it. I kind of hold it up and eyeball everything and make sure I like the borders and the layers that I have going on there. <clears throat> now I can start adding my images from the Love is in the Air stamp set. Now I'm going to add the little branch image up to the top and my birdhouse is going to hang off of the branch. So I'm going to use again some liquid glue that way I can kind of shimmy everything around get that set where I want to, and I'm going to trim off the excess over on the right side. So I just take a small pair of scissors and trim away the little piece of that branch. And now I'm ready to add the cute little birdhouse that I just did kind of in a natural wood grain look. Again, I'm going to use some liquid adhesive and add that on. And I'm kind of eyeballing that to see where I want it on the card and where it can kind of hang off of the branch there above. 
Now I can start adding my cute little bluebirds and the flowers. And I know I want the little bird that's flying to go up there towards the top left. And then my sweet little other bird is going to kind of perch down there on the edge of the little birdhouse. So you can see I have all my flowers and the little letter all poured out here. You can see how everything kind of coordinates with that gingham um, cardstock as well as the little stripes above. So I'm going to get my little bird glued down here, kind of peek it up at the bird that's flying through the air. Next, I want to go ahead and fill in with the floral arrangement that's going to go there to the left side of the birdhouse. Some of these I pop up on our Be Creative little foam dots. I love these little foam dots. As you can see there, I have a strip pulled off of the big roll. They are the perfect size. They add nice dimension to your projects and they have the little pull tab which is my favorite. I don't have to fuss or worry about trying to get the little tabs or release paper off the back. Okay, so the next thing that I did was take a really fine uh, jute or twine in uh, like a natural color, and I'm gonna make a little bit hang from the tree in just a straight line and then tuck that behind the roof of my little birdhouse. So I'm going to use a little bit of our Be Creative liquid adhesive again and just run a really fine bead of glue and then get that tucked in right behind and then set that right in the glue and it's going to set up and dry nicely. I trimmed off the excess and then I'm just going to add a little tied bow up the top so it looks like it is all connected and tied up there into the branch of my tree. So the last thing that I need to do, I'm going to add a couple of little of those awesome little foam dots to the back of my flying bird that has now the little piece of mail or letter into his beak. And I'm going to add that right up there on the top left hand side. Now once I get him stuck down, this is all finished. I love these little birds and the way this turned out. And I like the little pop of blue on the inside sentiments. And as I mentioned before, I did end up taking off the blue ribbon. As you can see here on the graphic, there's the finish card. I hope you've enjoyed day one's products. I hope you'll join us back here for day two. All these products will be released on December 15th at honeybeestamps.com.